My name is Andrew McCormack. My name is Vlad Majstorovic. I'm Edward Nesbitt. I did the Panufnik scheme in 2008 and I was commissioned to do incentive uh, the following year and it was premiered at the Barbican 2009. I did the scheme in 2010 uh, and for that I wrote a, a three minute piece called Parallels uh, and then the LSO asked me to extend that piece uh, into a 10 minute piece which was premiered at the Barbican in November. I was on the Panufnik scheme in 2009 actually um, when I wrote my uh, first ever orchestral piece um, called Microcosm and um, I then wrote uh, Halo uh, for uh, I was commissioned by the LSO um, and I wrote Halo in 2010 and uh, it was premiered in 2011 at the Barbican. Well, the scheme was amazing because uh, I got a lot of time with the orchestra. So there was a, an hour of workshop on the, the original three-minute version and then another workshop on the extended version and then the, uh, the performance as well. So I had an amazing amount of time with the LSO uh, over the course of about two years. Every single musician in the orchestra and uh, uh, the conductor, Francois Xavier, and uh, our, our uh, composition uh, mentor at the time, Colin Matthews, uh, just help me get get my ideas uh, uh, crystallize them and and uh, uh, make them uh, make make them possible and clear for the musicians to uh, just uh, bring bring the magic out i st started studying with mark anthony turnage privately and uh, getting into the scheme I learnt so much that I was able to really make the most of the scheme, going to the rehearsals, going to uh, the concerts, of course. The rehearsals were really useful, though, because you get to listen to someone like Bengaroff talk about masterworks with the orchestra, and uh, I learnt quite a lot doing, doing things like that. Halo um, is uh, uh, a part of my... Uh my interest uh, in uh, depicting light with sound. Uh, I was able to write a, to write a piece that uh, uh, really goes from uh, uh, large tectonic movements to, uh, to very delicate sparks uh, of, uh, of uh, sound light, let's call it. It's in two movements, and the two movements are, are very contrasted. So the first movement is a, a, a three-minute piece. It's just a, a scherzo movement, uh, quite quick, quite fun. And then the second movement is much longer and much darker in its sound world, uh, and uh, specifically takes some influence from Japanese gagaku, uh, ancient Japanese traditional music. Well, the piece incentive itself was well it was actually quite different to the piece that I wrote for the for the workshop scheme incentive is much more kind of robust and a bit more sort of in the world of Stravinsky or something like that um, but uh, I'm looking forward to having the piece recorded by the LSO it's it's quite a it's quite an exciting thing to have happen. I'm working on a piece for 
uh, chamber ensemble uh, for a young uh, formation in Romania, which will be premiered uh, in May at the um, International New Music Festival. Um, and uh, a sort of more long-term uh, project uh, is uh, my violin concerto for uh, Valery Sokolov. Um, and um, in the meantime, I'm uh, um, working on various uh, projects with the Mercury Quartet, which involve uh, half written, half improvised uh, music. With the Mercury Quartet, we've uh, released back in 2010 um, an album called Mercury Acoustic, which uh, comprises of uh, fully improvised music and um, some tracks remixing the material. Um, so this, the CD was produced by uh, Gabriel Prokofiev and uh, Non Classical on, on the label Non Classical. The last couple of years, I I've been concentrating on my piano playing a bit more actually, and um, and this includes me transitioning a move to New York. Um, and I've just I've just done a CD a trio album, but next year uh, Jason and I have done a collaboration with the Elysian Quartet, um, and actually we did a concert uh, at St Luke's, uh, the LSO home, uh, at the end of um, the end of last year, so 2012. Um, but what's exciting for me about that is that I get to write for um, a, a classical genre, if you like, the string quartet. So it's 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 like chamber music, but but Jason and I and and the string quartet as well are improvising within that. But at the same time, I get to do it within a sort of architecture that I that I might use for a, a classical piece. So it's quite exciting to, to be able to to do that because I suppose I'm heading for that sort of direction anyway where I'm using my classical writing as alongside my jazz which is which is tricky and uh, a lot of people are still experimenting with it and there've been some successful ways of doing it and there've been some not so successful ways of doing it but that's what experimenting is. I'm going to Royaumont Festival in uh, France in the summer, and I'm just starting work on the chamber piece for that. That's the next big project. I've recently had two performances of a song cycle called A Pretense of Wit, uh, which is five settings of Yeats for soprano and piano. The premiere was in Aldborough Church as part of their Britain weekend in October, and then it was done in Camden in November. And there are two more performances of that coming up later this year. It should be. It should be. But uh